This is Dr. Timothy Linescu, Lake Cumberland Rheumatology. Wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, biosimilars. Uh, you may not know much about these. If you have a history of rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, Crohn's disease, uh, or another uh, inflammatory condition where the medicines such as Remicade, Humira, and Enbrel are used, you need to know about biosimilars. So a biosimilar is a another company producing one of these protein-based medicines um, because the original manufacturer has lost their patent. So the we don't like to call them generic because they're not generic, but a biosimilar or something that is made to be like that uh, Remicade, Humira, and Embril is coming out. So currently we're doing a trial uh, looking at Remicade and the biosimilar Remicade uh, through Pfizer. And uh, what this means for you is, is that in the near future, you will be able to have these very, very expensive medicines at uh, hopefully at a very much uh, discounted price, which will cut down on healthcare costs overall. So you'll uh, have some options, and it'll be interesting to see what happens here in the United States over the next one to two years when it comes to biosimilars. Uh, one thing I think we'll be disappointed with is, is that it will reduce some costs uh, but not as much as people expect. To make these medicines is extremely difficult. You have to have a cell lineage and unlike other things like when Cymbalta went generic or um, you know aspirin and Tylenol and these type of things, uh, these are very finicky and you really have to be a large corporation and spend a lot of money to produce these. Now where they're gonna save a lot of money is, is they don't have to do the phase one, two, uh, phase one and two trials to get them approved. So most of their, the trials right now are phase three and in other countries they're already using biosimilars. So um, there have been some FDA uh, requests to start using them already, uh, but some of the companies in the United States are doing trials first to get uh, approved. So. Uh, keep an eye out for what's called a biosimilar in the future if you are on any of those big three medicines. Hope this was helpful. Uh, give me a like or uh, a question or a comment, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Dr. Lineski, Lake Cumberland Rheumatology.